for various candidates and referenda on the, on the ballot. <clears throat> if they are planning to vote by mail in one of the states that allow this, they have to request the ballot, fill it out, and return it. Political parties, candidates, and campaigning can make it make a big difference in persuading voters to vote. Voter mobilization, once an art, has now become a science. In recent years, both parties have developed an extensive database on hundreds of millions of uh, potential voters, allowing the two parties to bring their search for votes. Contributions and campaign help down to name individuals. And campaigns help down to name individuals. In the 2008 and 2012 election, the Democrats made their voter file files available to state parties, and this technology became became one of the keys to their successful mobilization and get out the vote activity those years. Norwal was the code name for the data platform of the 2012 Obama campaign. Norwal is the name of a little known type of well allowing campaign workers to track voters and volunteers using Amazon services. Obama's technology team employed elite talent from Twitter, Google, Facebook, Craigslist, and Cura, with most staffers in their 30s. The Republicans, too, employed technology to enhance their voter mobilization efforts, codenamed Orca. The Orca well is the only known killer of the Noel well. Parties organize power in Congress. Congress depends more on the party system than, a, than is generally recognized. For one thing, power in Congress is organized along party lines. Specifically, the speakership of the House is essentially a party office. All of the members of the House take part in the election of the speaker, but the actual election is made by the majority party. The majority party. That is, the party that holds the majority of seats in the House or Senate. The other party is known as the minority party, meaning that it holds a minority of legislative seats in either the House or the Senate. <laughs> when the majority party presents a nominee to the entire House, it chooses its choice is then and variable ratified in a straight vote along party line. The committee system of both houses of Congress is also a product of the two-party system. For example, each party is assigned a quota of members for each committee, depending on the percentage of total seats held by the party. The assignment of individual members to these committees is a party decision. Each party has a committee on committees to make such a decision. Permission to transfer to another committee is also a party decision, as is advancement advancement up to committee ladder towards the chair. Since the late 19th century, most advancement have been automatic based on the length of continual service on the committee. The seniority system has existed only because of the support of the two parties. However, however, and either party can deviate from it. The seniority system has, has ex existed only because of the support of the two parties. However, and either party can deviate from it. That is, pick one, pick someone with less seniority to chair a committee by a simple vote. Presidents need political parties. Strong presidents with broad popular support can depend on party ties to get their legislation enacted in Congress. Yet there has been a trade-off in using the party machinery to support the president's legislative agenda and building it to support the party in congressional election. The political scientist Daniel Galvin argue that since the Eisenhower pres presidency, Republicans have paid much more attention to party building than have Democrats. Given their party minority st uh, status in the electorate 
for much of the past 50 years. Republican president have sought to enhance the party's capabilities to mobilize voters and win elections. George W. Bush advisor Carl Rove, Rove hoped to build a strong party apparatus that would ensure a permanent Republican majority. Democratic presidents have put <clears throat> much less energy into building the party apparatus, focusing instead on their legislative agenda and their own reelection. It was only after they, their 2004 election defeat that Democrats began to pour their energies into building a stronger party. Under the chairmanship of Howard Dean, a previous presidential candidate and a former Vermont governor, governor the Democratic Previous president, presidential candidate, and a former Vermont governor, the Democratic, Nas the Democratic National Committee, invested heavily in new technology and in creating party mobilization capabilities in states across the country, not just the traditional, traditionally blue states that have reliable, reliably voted Democratic. This is so boring. The Obama campaign was able to use this party machinery as a springboard for its own mobilization, mobilizing organization, Obama for America, with detailed information about Democratic Party activists. Obama for America's database became an important political resource for mobilizing Democrats. After Obama took office, the organization was renamed Organizing for America and became an independent project of the, the Democratic National Convention. I don't know. During the, Obama's first year in office, the president used OFA to mobilize grassroots support for his legislative agenda. OFA took a very active part in lobbying members to Congress to support health care reform. OFA provides training for volunteers to learn how to become organizer and has established office in nearly every state. Okay, stop that 204, page 204.